Continuing with Arkansas, we have Landon. He will go right straight to questions. So who would like to open this up? Right here in the front row. Wait, wait for the microphone. Colton Sully, OU Daily, Landon. Just wanted to ask you about the addition of OU and Texas to the conference. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you looking forward to the most? And do you think those schools are uh, ready for this juggernaut of the SEC? I think they are. I mean, they've been dominating the Big 12 for, for years. And, uh, I mean, that, it just brings rivalries to the SEC uh, with, I mean, for us personally, we got that OU-Arkansas rivalry being on the border. And then I remember I wasn't here at the time whenever Arkansas played Texas, but, I mean, talking to the players and the fans that were here, they stressed how big of a game that was. So I think that will bring a, a big rivalry, and then you, you get that Texas A&M-Texas rivalry again. So I think it just it brings in a, a lot more fun to the SEC. So I like that. Left side, third row. Yeah, Landon, Evan Camico, Pig Trail Nation. What's it like for you working with new defensive coordinator Travis Williams? Oh, he's a great guy. I love him. <laughs> I mean, every day we're going into meetings. He has a little DJ system set up in the uh, meeting room, and he has everybody crunk before practice, and the energy just flows into practice. And I, I honestly think he, his energy alone brings so much to our defense. So I really like working with him. Left side, second row. Tyler Shaw with KBTX and College mm -hmm. Station. What do you remember from last year's game against A&M and just kind of the, the craziness, how that went down, yeah. and how much are you looking forward to maybe, you know, flipping the script this year? Uh, I'm excited for that game, but just got to take it game by game, you know. And, uh, I mean, that game we just got to finish, you know. We got we to gotta, we gotta play a better football game. So, I mean, I'm ready for it, but like I said before, just taking it week by week. Right side, second row. Hey, Landon, talking about Coach T. Will, have you ever mm -hmm. heard some of his old music? <laughs> no, I actually have not. Ask him to play it for you. For sure, no, I will. Okay, we'll stay on the second row. Mm -hmm. yeah, st staying along those lines, not, not about T. Will's music, but uh, uh, the, uh, KJ was just in here, and he was telling us about how much it meant to take care of the Auburn game after a couple of games that you know, were real close but didn't go mm -hmm. uh, y'all's way. Is that, a, uh, is that a goal for this year? Or, well, first of all, what can you tell us about beating Auburn last year after losing a couple of heartbreakers earlier in, mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in your career to them. And also, uh, yeah, does that game have more significance now that you got yeah. Travis Williams, who, uh, who had a, a great career mm -hmm. at Auburn? No, that, that was a great win. Any time you win a big game in the SEC, it's great. I mean, every week's really tough competition. So, I mean, I, that, that, that was a really exciting game for sure. Left side, back row. Yeah, Clint Schweitzer from Starcade Media. Can mm -hmm. you just talk about the, the rivalry with Missouri? Um, Throughout your career, you've gone, uh, mm -hmm. I think, 1-1 one, one and lost two against Missouri, and yeah. tough loss here this last, uh, this, this last November. So just kind mm -hmm. of talk about that rivalry and what it means to the university. It's a big game. I mean, there, there's a lot of rivalries in the SEC, but uh, I feel like that's, that's for sure one of our bigger ones, and uh, I enjoy it. Any, any high-intensity game, any game, any trophy game, I really like a lot. So it, it brings energy to the game, and... I mean, I feel like it makes me personally play better, so I, I, like, I like it. Front row, please. Mm -hmm. I'm Jason Pataki from the Arkansas Democrat yep. Gazette. Um, Landon, I kind of wanted to ask you about sort of facilities and NIL. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the college landscape is changing yep. almost every day. How important is it for you as an athlete to, to have the right facilities to work in? I know you've, you've gained mm -hmm. like 40 pounds this offseason. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and get connected with the right brands at UA, and, and how have they kind of helped you with that as well? It's great. I mean... Nowadays, with recruiting and everything, you need those facilities, you know, because that a lot of that's all those recruits see. So uh, I think it helps. I mean, not having some of the extra stuff isn't really gonna turn a player into some great god, but I mean, having them it, it is beneficial. Second row, left side. Yeah, what's it like playing for for Sam Pittman, mm -hmm. and where do you feel like you guys are at? Um, I know, obviously, wanting to had some momentum going and mm -hmm. a little bit of a roadblock last year, but where do you feel like you guys are, are at, you know, program building wise? Well, first, I, I love playing for Sam Pittman. He's a genuine guy. What y'all see in the public, what y'all see at media days, stuff like that, is how he is to us. I mean, he's he's just an energetic, happy man, and. Uh, I mean, he's walking around all day at practice, just chopping it up with different players, making conversation, and he always has a smile on his face. And uh, what, what was your second part of that question? Just how you feel like you guys are building the program? I think we're uh, really stressing all the small details. Uh, last year, 
there was, I want to say, it was three or four games that we lost by a combined, like, nine points. So those little, those games where we're losing by two and three, we got to be able to capitalize and win those games. Uh, and I feel like that will make us a much better team. And Coach Souders, he's a, our new strength coach, came from Louisville. He really stresses all the little details. For example, uh, for our, like, workouts, he stresses us to be there not five minutes early, but earlier than five minutes. So say the workout's at 3 p.m. If you're there at 2.55, you're on the Stairmaster, you're doing up, down, something like that. So it's literally just all the little details we're really trying to perfect right now, and I think he'll play into the season. Right side, back row. Landon, Corey LeBounty with WNSP. You've been selected as an ambassador for mm-hmm. Arkansas. What does that mean to you personally, and how do you take this growth here at SEC Media Days and take it to the leadership factor on your team? Mm-hmm. No, it's great. I mean, I'm just happy that uh, my coaches kind of, I guess, view me as that. And it, it's, I love leading my teammates. Uh, it, it's a blessing, really. So if you, if you asked me three years ago, I would never expected to be in this position that I'm in today. But, uh, I mean, it, I plan on leading my teammates all throughout the season, being a positive leader, because uh, those type of leaders are always the ones that I personally have, like, kind of wanted to follow with, you know, like a guy like Bumper Pool last year. He's never being negative and cussing players out, this and that. He's, he's like, come on, bro. Like, let's, get, let's finish this workout, this and that. And I, so I, I just like encouraging like that. And I, I really, I'm going to be the best leader I can be towards my D-line and not just my D-line, but my whole defense this season. Left side. Mm-hmm. Uh, Landon, my head's still kind of spinning seven yeah. months later from the uh, Liberty Bowl game against Kansas, <laughs> three overtimes, 55-53. Yeah. Uh, watching it kind of tired me out. So what was, uh-huh. the, uh, what was it like playing in that game? And just was... Man, <laughs> that game was exhausting. I, I want to say I had 80-something snaps that game, and before that the most snaps I had in the game was against A&M with like 48-50. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it, was, it was unreal. I, I had to play DN, D tackle, Buck stand up linebacker. It was just all over, and uh, it was long. So I mean, right after that, I went home. I went, yeah, I, we drove back home actually, and I went to bed. <laughs> Final two questions on the yep. end, and then in the front row. Hey, Landon, sure. Jacques Dusay, WAFB in Baton Rouge. Um, uh-huh. You started your career at LSU. Yep. Obviously, things have worked out. You're here. Mm-hmm. Um, just that journey and the last two games against them, both mm-hmm. decided by a field goal. It's been yeah. some very tight games with LSU. Man, I, I, I love Baton Rouge. You know, I, I got recruited there by Coach Ed Orgeron, and uh, it was a great year. I was really I, – I really loved the city, and I think it was a great town and a, a great college in general, but it just wasn't for me personally. Like, it just wasn't – I didn't feel at home really, and that's my biggest thing. I'm a big family man. And uh, I just knew I needed to be closer to home. I needed to be somewhere where if times are getting tough, I got uncles and I got an uncle in Rogers. So if, if I had a bad week or something, I just want to see, see a familiar face, see some family, I can drive right up to Rogers and sit down and have a meal with him. So it's just stuff like that. I mean, I wanted more of a, I need to be closer to home, closer to family. Final question. Um, when, when you sort of talk about OU and mm-hmm. Texas joining the yeah. conference, how important is it from a recruiting perspective to have those top-notch facilities and, mm-hmm. and obviously the right collectives? And from your experience, did that ever go into sort of your transfer from LSU? Uh, I'd say it went into play for my, uh, like with the whole facilities deal, I'd say it went into play more in my high school recruitment. And um, LSU had some gorgeous facilities. I mean, their lockers pull out into beds. and. I wouldn't say that really sold me, but it's something I thought of, you know. And then in the tr- whenever I was in the transfer portal, I more so looked into what staff is there, what type of guys are there, and uh, how I'd fit in more with the defense and not as much the facilities at all. But I, I, think, I do think Texas and OU will play a major role in the SEC, and I'm excited to have them. Thank you very much. Good job. Thank you all. Have a great, have a great day.